are watching online science class this channel is specially for those who want to learn science so dear students join with us please like and subscribe my channel also press the bell icon for notification so we are going to start your topic please watch full video our next topic of class 8th chapter 1 crop production and management part 2 we have finished our part 1 i will provide the link of the part 1 in the detail section of this video agricultural implement generally the farmers are using different tools for plowing or tilling of the soil here we are representing the three basic tools which are used for the plowing or tilling first is the plow all of you have seen the plow which are generally used with the ox this is the structure of the plow the first part is known as the beam which is connected with the neck region of the ox second part is the plow shaft and third part is the plow shear plow shear having a metallic part which are used for the plowing or tilling i think most of the students which are belonging with the rural area have seen this plow next is the hoe this can also use with the help of the ox this is the grip with the help of the grip the farmer can hold the hoe the lower part having a bent plate okay and the tail part having beam this can be attached with the help of the ox neck region next is the cultivator all of you have seen the cultivator which are generally used with tractor sowing the putting of seed into the soil there are different types of the tools for used sowing traditionally all of you have seen the funnel keep like structure which are used with the help of the ox for the sowing with the help of this funnel keep the farmer try to use maintain proper distance in between the seed but now but now in modern method seed drill are used for the sowing the main benefit of the seed drill is that it keeps proper distance in between the seeds which help to better growth of the plant this is the natural method of the replenish the nutrient in the soil first is the field fellow what is the field fellow sometime farmer leaves the field after harvesting they don't sow anything inside the field by this method near the nutrition can be replenished inside the soil this is the generally method which are used during the summer season or winter season either harvest after the harvesting of the soil next is the crop rotation what is the crop rotation it involve growing two or more crops alternatively on the same land in the same growing season so that soil is not depleted of any particular nutrients in this method the farmer changes the crop in one particular region they de they never repeat the same crops by which they can replenish the nutrient in the soil all of you have seen that some farmer never use same type of the crop in same season every year they try to change the nature of the crops for the proper maintaining the nutrient inside the soil so there are which basically two natural method for replenish the nutrient in the soil first is the field fellow and second is the crop rotation difference between manure and fertilizer manure and fertilizer are artificial way by which the nutrition are replenished inside the soil what what is the main difference in between the manure and fertilizer first is the fertilizer is a man made inorganic salt manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung and plant residue 
इट मीन्स मैन्योर आर ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंस फर्टिलाइजर इज प्रिपेयर इन अ फैक्ट्री मैन्योर प्रोवाइड लॉट ऑफ ह्यूमस टू द सॉयल इट प्रिपेयर एनी वेयर इन द ग्राउंड और इन साइड द फील्ड फर्टिलाइजर डज नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी ह्यूमस टू द सॉयल मैन्योर प्रोवाइड लॉट्स ऑफ ह्यूमस टू द सॉयल फर्टिलाइजर आर वेरी रिच इन प्लांट न्यूट्रिय लाइक नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोरस एंड पोटेशियम मैन्योर इज रिलेटिवली लेस रिच इन न्यूट्रिय तो सो दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मैन्योर एंड फर्टिलाइजर विच आर जनरली आस ड्यूरिंग द एग्जामिनेशन वाय मैन्योर इज बेटर देन फर्टिलाइजर ऑल ऑफ यू हैव नो दैट ड्यू टू द एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ द फर्टिलाइजर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द क्रॉप आर डिक्रीजेज एंड इट ऑल्सो जनरेट एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑन द हेल्थ ऑफ द सॉयल सो द यूज ऑफ मैनर मैन्योर इज बेटर रिकमेंडेड इन कंपेरिजन टू द फर्टिलाइजर सो वॉट इज द बेसिक रीजन फर्स्ट इज द ऑर्गेनिक मैन्योर इज बेटर देन फर्टिलाइजर बिकॉज इट एड्स ह्यूमस टू द सॉयल एंड इंक्रीज इट्स वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी इंप्रूव सॉयल टेक्स्चर मेक सॉयल पोरस विच मेक्स एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस इजियर एंड इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेंडली माइक्रोब्स सो दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग मैन्योर इन साइड इन कंपेरिजन टू द फर्टिलाइजर वेन एवर वी आर यूजिंग मैन्योर इट हेल्प टू इंक्रीज द ह्यूमस इन साइड द सॉयल इंक्रीज वाटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी इंप्रूव सॉयल टेक्स्चर मेक सॉयल पोरस विच मेक एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेस एंड इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ फ्रेंडली माइक्रोब्स सम कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द क्रॉप रोटेशन इन नॉर्थ इंडिया फार्मर यूज टू ग्रो लेग्यूमिनस इन द वन सीजन एज फूडर एंड वीट इन द नेक्स्ट सीजन दिस हेल्प द सॉयल टू गेट रीप्लेनिश विथ नाइट्रोजन मोस्ट दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द क्रॉप रोटेशन विच आर जनरली यूज इन नॉर्थ इंडिया वॉट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस क्रॉप रोटेशन रूट नॉड्यूल्स ऑफ द लेक्यूमिनस प्लांट हैविंग राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया दैट फिक्स एटमोस्फिक नाइट्रोजन एंड मेक इट यूजबल बाई प्लांट दिस इज द बेनिफिट दैट द राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया हैव टू कैप्चर एटमोस्फिक नाइट्रोजन एंड दिस नाइट्रोजन इज एब्सॉर्ब बाई द प्लांट रूट इरीगेशन इरीगेशन इज अर्टिफिशियल सप्लाई ऑफ वॉटर टू फॉर्म मनी रेड सम ऑफ द मॉडर्न इरीगेशन मैथड आर एज फॉलोज इन स्प्रिंकलर सिस्टम एंड ड्रिप सिस्टम ऑल ऑफ यू नो द नेचुरल सिस्टम ऑफ इरीगेशन इज द इरीगेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द रेन वाटर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पॉन्ड और डिफरेंट वे दिस दीज आर द आर्टिफिशियल सिस्टम बाय विच द वाटर इज सप्लाइड टू द क्रॉप्स आफ्टर रेगुलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन मॉडर्न मैथड ऑफ इरीगेशन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इन स्प्रिंकलर सिस्टम this system is more useful on the uneven land where sufficient water is not available the perpendicular pipes having rotating nozzles on the tops are joined to the main pipeline at regular interval when water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure with the help of a pump it is kept out from the rotating nozzle it gets in sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining the sprinkler is very useful for the sandy soil all of you have all of us have seen uh, many of the farmer are using the sprinkler system for saving the water next one is the drip system in this system the water falls drop by drop just at the position of the roots so it is called drip system it is the best technique for watering the fruit plant gardens and trees the system provide water to the plant drop by drop water is not wasted at all it is a boon in the region where availability of water is poor by applying the drip drip system many farmer are growing different type of the fruits 
and vegetables even in desert area of the our india protecting from weeds weed that desirable plant may grow naturally along with the crops are called weeds we have seen different type of breeds such as grass and other harmful uh, unwanted plant weeding the removal of weeds is called weeding there are three different way of weeding first is the tilling before sowing of the crops it remove most of the grass from the soil manual removing of by cutting with the crop kurpi whenever we have sowed the crop after growing after growing of the crops we will use the kurpi to remove the weeds from the our field weed site these are the chemical which are used to kill the weeds some of the common weed site are 24d malathion and gamexin important of weeding weeds compete with the crop plant for water nutrient space and light some weed may be poisonous for the animal and human being weeds interfere in harvesting next is the harvesting the cutting of the crop after it is mature is called harvesting done manually by sickle or by machine is called harvester all of us seen the harvester which are used for cutting the crops after maturing in the harvested crop green seeds grain seeds need to be separated from the chaff this process is called threshing this is carried out with the help of machine called combine which is in fact a combined harvester and thresher storage if the crop grain are to to be kept for long time they should be safe from moisture insects rats and microorganisms farmers should store grain in jute bags or metallic bins however large scale storage of grain is done in silos and granaries to protect them from pests like rats and insects we have seen different type of the granary which are located in food corporation of india which is mostly located nearby of most of the station of the india railway station of india dried neem leaves are used for storing food grain at homes animal husbandry animal reared at home or in farm have to be provided with proper food shelter and care when this is done on large scale it is called animal husbandry if we are just rearing one or two animals this is not a animal husbandry whenever animals are rare on large scale such as the plant or crops such a different plants are grow in large scale then these are known as a crops same when large number of animals are reared at a particular place this is known as the animal husbandry why we are doing animal husbandry to get food from animals such as for getting the milk we are reared cow buffalo and goat egg hen and duck for honey honey bees for meat fish and goat so these are the some common example of the animal husbandry thanks thanks for watching we will provide our next topic very soon